started small. It started right here. It started out of people's homes and being paid out of people's pockets. And it started with scholars who pretty much from the beginning did this for little or no pay, but did it because they believed in what the organization was doing. And now we're in Washington and it's big. It's not big in terms of our staff necessarily or even in terms of our budget, but it's big in terms of the potential and because of the impact that we can have and we already are having. Here's a little history lesson. There is a huge gap right now between the perception of Islam and Muslims versus the reality of Islam and Muslims. The reality, according to the latest studies, is good. American Muslims are moderate, whatever that means, but it's good, moderate's a good term, uniquely optimistic about America's future, believe in the American dream, are as a group economically successful, they renounce extremism and violence against civilians, they help law enforcement, and currently they are the most diverse religious community in America. In fact, American Muslim women are the most educated women of any religious community in America just behind Jewish American women. serious about addressing those who want to promote fiction and fear, then I ask you to continue to, the, to support the investment that you've already made in this institution. Because we have proven that we can do it. We have proven that the facts and the, and the data can overcome the big challenges that we face in our community. ISPU is a think tank assembling the smartest and brightest academics in the country who create original research and content to help, inshallah, change the narrative. They are responsible for publishing scholarly reports that will land on the desks of politicians and help change the tide towards moderation. For example, Frank Gaffney released Sharia Threat to America, which features inflammatory nonsense. But thankfully, ISPU published Dr. Julia McFarlane's paper, Sharia Law, coming to a courthouse near you, what Sharia really means to American Muslims, which reflects, it reflects actual scholarship and research showing that a vast majority of these American Muslims saw no incompatibility between their Islamic ob obligations and values and the US legal system. And that there is no grand design, no Muslim agenda, no stealth jihadi plan to replace the constitution with Sharia. Congratulations, Julie. Very, very few American Muslim organizations are fighting back against the Islamophobia industry in the realm of policy and scholarship. ISPU is one of them, and they have the talent, expertise, and staff to influence policy in a more positive direction. So you need to support them. Listen, the enemies have $43 million. They are not just the enemies of Muslims, they are the enemies of America, okay? I say that sincerely. Keep supporting ISPU. Tell your friends about ISPU and do not accept anything but the best from ISPU. If we put out garbage, you come and let us know. We will produce quality work, we will support our fellow Americans, and we will make sure that we have the most inclusive and effective organization. And everybody will remember American Muslims stood their ground.